We're going to start, hopefully, in a little while. Um, please enjoy the tables. I have everyone's business card. And what they do, they sponsor their time to come out and support. And a lot of these names I can't pronounce, so I'm not going to try. So what I just need you to do is visit their table. And <laughs> they'll do it like that because y'all got real fancy with a lot of these vowels and stuff that don't belong to these words. So, not going to try. I want to welcome everyone. It's Black History Month. You the door for your least will start on time. But things happen. So, with that being said, the uh, founders of the group who are actually taking pictures right now and supposed to be up here speaking to you guys and not. So, that's what's going on. Game might be play. It's another for another prize. What would you do if Obama was your dad? Excuse me, lady in, lady in the cat, don't, lady in the cat, I'm talking, don't be disrespectful, don't be disrespectful, it will get real, I need, I need full attention here. So, next prize, what would you do if Obama was your dad? And I need you to start speaking or I will start busting. 668486. I've ever seen in my life. We get 337 days to get it right. It's 28 right here. We should be on point. This is ridiculous. It is now probably 10:30, and this joint has not started yet. Listen, I feel like that my career is going nowhere because I paid to get in here and they're not paying me, and I gotta come back tomorrow and pay my tithes. So just like, what happens? You know what I mean? I really, before I started comedy, I was selling Biggie and Tupac tape on the side of the road. But they had Kirk Franklin on them. They just had Biggie on the cover, and Kirk Franklin was in them. This is when he came out with Stomp, and he had did that remix with Ty True when they had said, it all falls down. That was me. I was in the background, I was dancing, but I tried to change my career. Like, I went to college, you know what I mean? And now, you know, I'm telling jokes, so, like, really, I didn't learn nothing. When I'm seeing this 2020 vision, they took the pictures of me, I ain't seen them yet. You know what I mean? I don't know if the payments, you know, was in the mail, or they didn't get it, or, you know, they just stalling or whatever. But things happen. Another thing. Listen, first day of Black History Month, somebody stole all four of my tires. It's not a joke, like I'm really being real. I call progressive, right? And they was like, yo, what happened? Like, I'm like, look, somebody stole my tires. And they're like, if they stole three, we're gonna come through. You know what I mean? But we can't do nothing about it. Who else gonna bring the car to them? Like, they're serious. I grew up in the hood, you know, and my dad likes to flirt with food or whatever. You know what I mean? So like, we'll go to the restaurant and he be telling people like, yeah. About to cut right to this breast, you know what I mean? Like, what? It'd be crazy because like the waitress like would really fill us up or whatever, but he'd do one with the buffets. Like, it's not necessary. Like, we already paid to get in here, right? This is what I'm saying. I can't wait for this to start. How you doing? I'm up here talking that good rah rah, and this fool is when I start. I don't, I don't know. I'm proud of my sister. I am. You know what I mean? Everybody's doing their own little thing. But once again, my career is going nowhere. Like, I'm sitting on the stage. I got a man back there, DJ system. He's doing it all from his phone. None of that's even plugged up. He's just over there touching stuff, playing with stuff. He got lights on. Nothing's never, never even happening, you know? I got, I have an old lady, she's staring at me right now. I feel like just saying, I need thee or I need thee because she's looking at me like I'm supposed to be doing something and I'm not. Miss, I'm not getting paid to be here, so I'm not giving them my all. Um, I didn't lotion my feet so the shoes will stay on, but it kind of sliding off. You know what I mean? We're in a new thing now, you know, like paying taxes or whatever. Like, I feel like I can follow my taxes around the city. You know what I mean? Like, if I pay taxes and you're on welfare and you leaving your lights on all types of nights, I feel like I should have the ability to walk in your house and turn the lights off. I pay for that. You know what I mean? Like, I'm plugged the refrigerator. If I want to come over for a sandwich, you should do it with ease. You know what I mean? Like, that's the type of thing that I feel like. Like, in the Bible days, like, you think, like, when you get to heaven, is them people still going to be the same way? Like, is Daniel going to be walking around with lions, like, trying to impress the ladies? Or, like... Shadrach, Meshach, and Abendo, like, starting fires with their hands, like, just to see what's going on. You see what I'm saying? Like, little stuff like that I think about. Like, Adam and Eve, like, is they still, like, you want to try to be naked, like, show his body off? Like, do you think he's Tyson or heaven? Like, it's like certain things that I think about on my time off. You know, I actually invited people to this, but clearly they probably had something else to do because no one is here. And people just walking around and 
at this point. I just, I don't know what to do. I need somebody to tell the DJ that we're still in the church and this is not Pinnacle and he cannot be over there playing all type of disrespectful stuff. Oh, listen, it's my other thing. When I get bored, like I do stuff to irritate people. Like we walk with your friend, like take one of their gloves when it's cold outside. Or like I was in the office one day and I just made up all these messages for my boss. Like all of them was fake numbers. So like he was just calling them back all day. Um, like, I don't, I mean, it's just, it's a lot of different things that I do. Oh, that wasn't funny. I wrote this joke for somebody stole my tire. Like, slash three tires, no slash the fourth one. Well, when somebody stole my tires, that joint went out the window. Oh, I had to do a show in Chester. Yo, Chester has the highest crime rate in America right now with a population of 460. And they killed 300 people last year. How are they still, like, who is there to kill? Like, you ever just ride in and, like, the cops are like, no, no, like, they don't, they can't protect you. Like, it's, no one can help you. It will never work. Never thing. Like I said, graduate college, I work now, you know what I mean? But I hate my job. You know when you hate your job, like when you be at work thinking about other stuff you can do, like I could be a firefighter. Like it'd be a little hot, but like summertime all the time, like a, a consistent summertime. Like I could do that though, you know what I mean? Like that's the thing that I, you know, I feel like it's good. And I go to church, you know, like I didn't curse this whole time. If anybody didn't notice, I want you to applaud or, you know, do something now because I, I appreciate all that. But like God's still working on me because I still from self-checkout. Not a joke, this is real. I feel like if they wanted me to pay for it, they probably wouldn't let me do it myself. Cause I don't work there. So who's to say that, you know, I'm gonna be lying. Nobody's gonna ask for my receipt. I don't have to ask anybody for a receipt. I just do what I need to do, right? Oh, my parents, you probably just feel bad for me. True story, my mom was talking to our cat and she told the cat, you should be grateful. Like, why? Like, we looking at her like, wow, what's going on? She was like, I just seen a cat in the alley. Like, and it was dead. Like, mom was just scared straight for cats, like, like now she's not gonna get her, her meow mix no more. Like since you said that, she doesn't understand what you're saying. She's just she's not listening. Like, oh parents, I, your kids are not ever gonna be anything. I just gotta let you know. If you not noticed, the school district is closed every two days out of a week. And if you were counting on them to read a book, you might want to buy it at home because they're never there. They're teaching your kids how to be sissies. First it was cyberbullying. Now it was actual bullying. Now it was snow days. Like, I wish I had a kid. Like, I just would have sent him to school in the snow. Like, not even tell him it was snowing or nothing. Like, just send him out there and the school is closed and make him come back. It makes him tough. So now, you know what I mean? Like, they don't even have to wear socks anymore. They so tough. You know what I mean? Like, their feet are just crusty. So now, they can get through anything. You know what I mean? And, and that's just, you know, the way my life rumbles. Hold on. Erica.